Oh, this push out of Dirk, and right away! Uh, come on, he gets one and he's out? Matchup has caught my attention like this. Yeah, this definitely, I, I think, well, all right, Q. Durka is on fire with this Sheriff, but pulses before, though. I'm gonna definitely keep an eye on good shock guard. Oh, the damage is huge. Yeah, Mystic didn't have a snake bite as well. It could confirm a kill. MDLL wants to be a bit more aggressive. If more frazzled, and now Pora watching this angle just get sprayed through. Pretty straightforward retake. Now BBL are gonna bring the same thing, same level of confidence to the table, but Boaster, the IGL of Fnatic, is the first to drop. Surely at this point, Fnatic expect this to be a buy up as well, not. This is going to be tough then. If that crunch actually is timed right, Magnum's already able to find the first, but the front of the site is just being destroyed by Aslan. He's holding on to it all by himself before he goes down, leaving Cuny to try and stop this. Oh, it's no. almost defused and he can't get over. An updraft there might have saved the day, but Boaster was watching anyway. Fnatic is just going to be five players making their way on, onto B main, which is so tough, especially with Turco going down. No Sage Wall. That was an updraft out of Durka. I'm 99% certain. Yeah, he, it was because he it's killed him be. inside so of the main. Oh, it's nasty. We're really gonna want to take the range fights. Bit of an interesting plan. HP on Aslan. Boaster's been actually dueling. Oh, well, well good night. On crazy long range, and now they get punished. Cuny, 40 health remaining. This is an easy fight if Brave can actually find him, root him out from back yellow, but the headshot is instant. Right, now that the Eldrons, they just have to go in blind and look at Fnatic. They're leaning into that. They're playing in Jenny, they're playing in all these spots because they know they're not going to get cleared. They're just going to spray you through all of this utility. And the res is going to be used at least to bring Pora back online and another kill for Cutie, who's got a double on the site. Things are looking good. Boaster can't really res anybody. He could move towards the spawn maybe, but he's going to duel instead. Taking it down to a 2v2. The spike planted. Now time to look for that res, maybe. They don't have a wall, though. They're going to have to face right after this. Luckily, no one from BBL's there. I could create some space, and there's no snake bites as well. So, uh, I mean, look at the positioning of BBL. This is super awkward. To the point that they had to, like, go up and face. They can't get to the high ground to get a nice little position. So this defuse can be dedicated to... And even then, they kind of guess where MDLL is just because they knew that he was that opening kill. Five versus four. And even forcing Brave to use the Hunter's Fury. The only one that he's tagging, I think, in this situation is Mystic, who's jumped onto the box. Yes. Did? He would have caught Durka with the AWP completely unaware. He may still find him as they start to move in through this. That aggressive position, Mystic, still has not been spotted. Aslan, he's going to manage to catch one off guard, but never mind. Still plenty of time to get that defuse through. But he ends up pulling. I mean, it could just be a different in-game name, though, realistically. Uh, but there you go. There as well. Doubling up on the utility gives him a lot more control. I like this for post plant. BBL still with a Hunter's Fury to play with. Oh, but they've lost Cutie. Cutie's been a big factor for BBL in some of these rounds. Turco in a great position, though, was able to catch only the one poster again so fast. And with a wall still to play with, this could be huge. They've got to try to fight the wall, but that's when Pora gets blocked down. And now these players behind are being pressured. Mystic is completing a flank just now as the Diffuse comes through. The Hunter's Fury active. It's able to go all the way in, but now the Diffuse can be stuck. And the swing needs to be there instantly from Aslan. He can't get there in time. And the wall was blocking it too. I quite see that, definitely. It's definitely a very different style of play than that's what we see from see. Pora. Oh, it's like BBL wants to take this very aggressively as they get picked apart. Aslan dropped, Hunter's Fury active, there's a tag, and almost the kill! It came damn close. Snake bite down to even try and maybe not stop the, de the plan so much as deal an insane amount of damage. You know this is going to be a tough round. It's yeah, one they yeah, yeah. have to just out-aim their opponents in, and it... Look, they're just running together, double peeking every angle, always able to trade. Sure, Brave goes down eventually, now maybe they can trade, because hold on, low HP on Mystic, this gets a little bit scary! There you go. They baited him into the open. The defuse will be found yet again. Uh, him so well for. And it's nine rounds in by the time we eventually Boaster. see that. Boaster, you nasty boy! He's up top and they have no idea! I, I, even now they might be trying to fathom what was going on, but the lurk from Pora is able to find value! Boaster's on their wall now! There's no stuff in this guy! See it there from BBL. You're not ready for that. I don't care who you are. Ten seconds left. He's going for it. Yep, that was definitely a <laughs> ludicrous play. They still have a blade storm to work with. Durka, I think, is all five. So right click inside this Viper's Pit. Certainly something you need to worry about on BBL. 
Game DLL going to try his best. There's one already found. Now that's the back secure completely. All they have to worry about really is players coming up this rope. And if they make it through, well, the Blade Storm's found nothing. And no defuse is possible anymore. This is this is it done and dusted. Yeah, <laughs> can't even move. Steps forward, he's dead. Oh, he's still going to try it. There's a chance. There's a small chance. Gets the kill, but not the second. Deco should survive, right? Yeah, he Just gets away out. with a gun, but still not a bad eco. We've only one place of either. Used up here, Fnatic are denying the plant even coming through. Bladestorm still able to pick up one. That's Boaster gone. That's not going to be any res to play with here for Fnatic. And DLL's in a nice spot. Gets there because he's trying to get into a position. Is he going to expect a second? No, like Mystic is there. Lockdown now in play. Going to stall a little bit longer. The kill's still coming in. Dixie's done well to find some spots. Tries to trade up onto the kill that Brave's able to get. Two versus two. The two players alive on the side of BBL of Sheriffs. So you're right. Oh. That whole thing could have really bit them in the ass here. I guess Mystic thought that turret was a little closer to the wall than it actually was. He was about to make a sneaky play, but... Now he's being spotted on the way back through. Great shot from Brave. And poor is just one HP. He had a rifle. Um, but it's unfortunately not enough. Even with the rifle eventually found. That's going to be damn tight. Oh, and I've got it. Just about. Dude, don't don't no start. <laughs> yeah. Don't start. You know someone on Reddit's going to make that argument now. All the teams are moving away from that for the most part. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Judy's gone right away. Armor as well, because he's, he's cracked. Obviously, though, what are you going to do with those other credits? Oh, my God. Stop it. You know, he's already got three kills. He's going in for more. The poor stopped him. Thankfully, the madness ends here. They're still watching for a flank. But they're expecting somebody out of the four surviving members of Fnatic to go in uh, through yellow at this point. A poor, like, actually all the way pushing in. Defuse could be stuck here. <laughs> poor just body blocks him. Yeah, this could just be stuck. Oh my god, it's even... The snake bites bounced! It's bounced on the wall! <laughs> so it couldn't actually get to sight! Okay, Lopa's very happy. I've already gambled on this being the play. The flank is coming through from Pora as we speak. Now you got a problem. Oh! Freak on that land. Oh god. Oh, I, I don't think it matters anymore, because these, these shots are landing for Durka again and again, but he's caught! Actually, a little taste of his own medicine through the smoke as he falls. BBL gonna fight to get back into the site. The plant still hasn't been secured, but it's down to just Pora. And they're gonna get that easily behind the impenetrable box. Still Sage walled off as well. Uh, he's gonna have to... Honestly, you probably have to get lucky here. They gotta peek you out in post plants like this. Yeah, Mystic ain't moving. Look how low he is. Gonna run the clock all the way. He's not, well, he still gets caught. And you can see that the a uh, little bit too shallow on that. It's all right, Boaster. It happens to the best of us. I.e., it just happened to you. There's a lockdown coming into play. Oh, that's not nice. Boaster able to at least trade it back. But the lockdown's the big concern here. Wall. Nice attempt. It's already halfway defused. In fact, they might think they've got the diffuser. And they have no idea that Bora was just sticking it. Oh, I love that. Ideas of how to deal with this. Nope. Not the start, at least. Not to deny the plan. Just thinking, you know, some shock dart play, something like that. They do come out a little bit later on. Boaster still lurking in on middle as a great position as Bora emerges from the smoke. And he's actually delayed the entire team now. They're going to be very cautious about pushing through. And then when they get to the site, there's still going to be so much for them to deal with. They want control over this tube. They want to be able to walk up into bath. Take these angles off their <gasps> Does Magnum not know they just lost control of bottom mid? He, he left himself completely exposed to it, but luckily no one was peeking there. But, I mean, they have to go save, right? There's no time. I mean, I'm quite surprised that they dedicated the rest, considering that it really wasn't, especially now with Brave getting two. Just from that position as well, just holding on to, uh, to yellow. I think it's about three of each. But not this time, another sort of first death going in for Pora. There's the plant, they got it right this time. Either got the banana swarm there, it's a difficult position, and especially if Dirk is just going to post up like that aggressively, even if it was a proper full buy for BBL, it's a tough, tough routine to crack. On ascent, as BBL for being a nice box. Oh, this is, this is 
not good enough kind of levels. I think all things yeah, considered. Close rounds. Yeah, and it's also like, if anything, I think Fnatic have made more costly mistakes than BBL have in some of these rounds. Uh, certainly in like the last couple that we've seen, like the, the wall being broken and the ninja defuses coming in, right? I think BBL just lost out from good fundamentals. But Boaster, again with the aggressive plays, is already charging down on the site. They've caught AIM DLL with the Hunter's Fury. Utility is so necessary. Recon that phone out trying to get the, the Killjoy locked down. It doesn't connect. Ooh, yeah, that's that's a bit of a yikes. Even a detain coming in because of it. Not Turco going to be dealt with. And well, Aslan's only now joining the fray. Although he'll find the one, it is 20 seconds on the clock. Now, time is going to be a serious issue. Dirk is only good for one. And the trades, while well, they're working out for BBL, as they close in the distance on this site, 10 seconds remaining. That boaster hasn't been spotted underneath. That plant cannot come in just yet. Five seconds, and the spike is down. The round is won by Fnatic, confirmed by the final kick you onto this site. The turret there catches onto Turco. Three players in hell isn't the best post plant goal, let's be honest. And... Fnatic are just trying to mow them down at this point. Mystic with a free k old Tapora. This is towards the spawn. Third round for Fnatic and a very, very... He's just going all the way, a fragment. Oh, it's not quite made it around the corner. So those players are going to survive and in fact, they'll thrive with Aslan picking up a double. The A site seems to be going in BBL's favor. I don't think there's anything Fnatic can do to deny this. No, 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 no. That's not how we, no, no. Not it's how we play all going wrong. <laughs> oh, right. the cutie's got it. Look at that great flash. Oh, the spray took a while. The wall blocking all the bullets here. Cutie wishes he got an own and that fragment's not landed. Oh, no. They're going to lose the round. But <laughs> Turco at the last second. That flash comes in from Boaster. A lot of support here to play. Oh, they took a side out. This one, they know exactly where Mystic is, too. Durka gets one. He's facing up all the way into oh, tree. Even knows that one's going to be in behind for the lurk. It just buys enough time for MDLL to get around Jenny. Nicely played from BBL, just playing around each other quite nicely. One Aim. More aggro. Might provide a bit of an opening for Magnum now that it's a one versus one. Oh, that joy! He headshot as well! 10 HP! Just doesn't like Ooh, they could just like, oh, they got too much. Maybe get an exit frag. They seem to be in control. Uh, it's the key thing for me here. Everything has a setup. They've got their alarm bot covering the back. Then the flash came through for Porous Peak. Now he's going to hold on his own. But no, there's a fragment there too. Really, really nice stuff. And it puts them into this expensive. If any of those players got caught in the grab, none of them do. Nice try. It's mainly Dirk as operator that I'm worried about. We've already seen the impact this weapon can have, and another... So careful now about taking these fights. Magnum at least able to drop one, still suppressed, but now Durka's got his dash, and that's why he's playing aggressive. City. They don't know where Aslan is, but now they do. And he's managed to drop Durka, and that's maybe an operator to be retrieved. Shamal utility coming out. These guys haven't heard of Bogdan. Looks like Aslan's playing with the rifle, and DLL does the same, dropping the op, but he's going to be dropped himself. Fnatic have taken control of, and they're about to find out it was short, but Cutie is... Null command, and trying to push through here, he's going for the kill, he gets traded out instantly though, that's big for BBL, he's still left. got the Astro and Mystic on the site, that cosmic divide, he's going to be happy to play around it. Nice shot by Mystic, but that's all he's going to be good for, leaving Magnum to again do it all. Cosmic divide is going to allow him to get nice and close. Oh, okay. Where's, he's go? running! He's got his weapon out. They'll never expect him to be here. Oh, my God, Magnum. His brain is so big. They thought they knew where he was. Ongoing Cosmic Divide to really run with that. Like, it had so much impact on to get in behind. This kind of pace is where BBL looked the best. But not when Mystic's able to just get that angle from Tree, from Garden. I mean, Aslan at least gets a wallbang kill on the Trave. There should be a plan coming in there too, hopefully. Numbers advantage too. Spike yep, everything to work with here, bar the weapons. I mean, that could be the key point, but not when Cutie's got the Blade Storm. A flash. Still has it. But he's down. down. One versus two. Mystic's gone as well. Really nice. Towards the switch, that door is closing, and that's going to stop anybody from helping Durka, who gets completely isolated. Magnum rushes to his aid. It's a little bit late getting around here. 
But he's gonna catch them on the side. Cutie swings out wide though, saving Aim DLL's life and leaving BBL with a huge advantage now. Flash. Fnatic are not letting it go. Mystic's got a double. Aslan has to clutch it and he will. Sitting in the corner. Too much, but more of a high contact approach from Fnatic. Nobody was checking that corner until that utility got thrown out. And Pora actually finds that opening again on the same box. That's a nice wall bag from Boaster and somehow it's even enough for the 2v2. And they've done well in a lot of these fights. They just crossed perfectly. Mystic's gonna walk out, go down. There was no way he got away with that one. But he suppressed. He throws out the flash in the nick of time, though. Still punished. MDLL isn't the one to try and like peek out in that fight. It's Aslan. They're still gonna catch him. Cutie has to deliver, but none of these players have shields. This is an off, but fires faster and you can move a lot faster with it. Already the double kill and with eight seconds left, that plan is going to be so oh, difficult nice. to One get done. They've made. just about managed it though. And now coming in is Turco in a 1v3. Again, low HP on these players, but he has no idea where they've snuck off to. A recon to play with even firing that out though comes with its risks. We'll immediately oh. answer and try to die. Conducts to pulse all of the information. Good timing on the Madurkas. About to face into a lot of them. Tries to even dash out in this. Very least BBL can force these Fnatic players in on the site to die to it. <laughs> this what? Standing. This is a massacre. Oh, How Lord. is he still alive? I mean, look, everybody He's, else. I'm like, we're just gonna meander in Trey a little bit more, and they get punished for it nonetheless. Like they're expecting BBL to push them. Yeah, I guess not feeling pressured at all. You gotta command BBL time. And glancing down, yet there's not really any ultimates to play with here. There's not really any KO either. MDLL got dropped immediately. Fnatic's numbers now on the disadvantage again. Magnum pulls it back. Boaster gonna join his teammate down below. He's being hit, and so is Magnum. Now this gets dangerous. The defuse underway. Brave has to try to stop it. The off shot rings out. He's in the open to take the bomb down, but I don't think it's gonna be... Not so much in the quality of the game, but it just reminds me of like a champion series. You know, it's just like kind of like the two styles like coinciding and the individual players coming in. Like it's, now it's a case of like BBL wanted to take that lead. Brave might be a man. Like, it's stuff like that. Like Mystic just waiting. Like I've never seen a team so hungry to take a fight in tree. Usually as an attacker, you want to be in and out of there as much as possible. Not Mystic. He wants a scrap in there. It's like outside of Weather Spoon's room. <laughs> Look at Magnum. He's in a little bit of trouble here. The drone actually going to be taken down right away. Magnum unspotted. Oh, he is in such a strong position. If they don't clear him, but they do. Turco does a damn good job taking him down in this defuse. Well, it's again not going to be easy. Mystic still having a grab well to play with. They can delay this that little bit more. A recon to come through from Brave. Okay, but cutie down. This is very much winnable. What just happened? The time is close. Not close enough. Retake, I assume. That door is only just now being opened. There is zero chance they expect Dirk in this corner. But hold on, the peak from mid might spot him in time. Horus still gets away with a frag. That's ridiculous. And BBL have now managed to root out that player who was tucked in to try and ruin their day. This is now a conventional retake with a ton of ults to play with. Brave is in such a difficult spot, though. Look at the kind of position that you expect him to be in. But it does kind of get oh. cleared. Aim DLL is just going to run straight into him. And Brave wants a little bit more. The <laughs> operator carried over. And well, Dirk is, yeah, he has survived. I don't know. And that's exactly what Fnatic want to do. They want to move into this site. Oh, Oh, QT could have taken any time in there and got a kill, except for that one. And Mystic actually is the one to join the B site, waiting for that exec over there. It was a slow rotate. They do have a lockdown. Already feels like Fnatic are prepped and ready and waiting to fight for it. There's a line up here. Look at where Boaster is. Yep, very much ready for it. We'll see if that's. I assume that's what we were expecting. It should be on the way right now. I Lockdown mean, it's still in play. The They've not gotten rid of it. Uh, no, he still has it. He hasn't even fired it out. Why was why, why were they on the site? They were just fighting, running down the clock so these two players further back can then win off of time. You can't defuse it like that. Oh, this is so smart from Fnatic. They've sacrificed a player for a round, essentially. That final duel, maybe not necessary. Just as he was rounding the corner.
Bladestorm on Cutie now looking for a victim and will find what he actually got brave there. Yeah. He got brave after he died, which is hilarious. But Mist could potentially catch this spike on the cross. Now the spike's alone. Oh, with 16 seconds left, Ryan. They can't really plant. Where is Mystic going? He needs to get to the site right now. 10 seconds left. Magnum has to change the, the lockdown. Is he the dedicated for Fnatic just to clear some space? Mystic spotted, has to back out. 50 HP. Want to fight it. Oh, the Cosmic Divide doesn't come down in time. It leaves Magnum to try and do this. Oh, I like it. Tucked up against the wall, but he turned away at the oh. wrong moment. Now spotted and in a lot of trouble. Tries to bait out the pink and he gets it. Porus already gone down. The defuse in the open. Magnum just needs to land a shot as he swings on out. And indeed, he's already stopped the defuse. He's running the clock down. That is not too far gone. Uh... Oh, just... no. Did he come off that? He came Definitely was. I think it's a savior that Tom's not casting this one because I think he would have died. What the? F <laughs> Clutches, macro, micro, to maybe take the series 2 0. But you can't say that BBL are not a hell of a lot of fun to watch. And Brave as well. You thought his debut last week was solid. He is on one today. Again, just taking a top. I think it's a. It, comfortable. It's just a different vibe for him to deal with as well. Bit of pressure on his shoulders for sure. Nice play to try and catch that lurk, but there's still one player of Brave over in mid. Isn't going to find anybody to cross, but if he can make a bit more noise, it's going to keep BBL's attention. They spot him. QT misses. Brave shocked that's close, and he's even expecting he hurt the updraft. There's a very, very good read on how his opponents are playing on that. BBL want to crunch into the site. Asan's already spotted one, and they've taken down Brave. This should be a Durka. Surely not good for anything back there. And with Boaster, well, you know what? You can pop your flash on through, but you better be <laughs> doing a lot of damage afterwards. The first already found. The defuse not yet through. They've got to try to body block. This Boaster will be dealt with the time. Close. I don't think they've got it. Oh, 0.18 of a second. Boaster's done just enough.